and Southern Kentucky. This is WYMT Mountain News Weekend Edition. Happy Easter morning. I'm Taylor Upchurch. Today is Sunday, April 21st. This morning we start with breaking news out of Sri Lanka where at least 190 people have been killed and hundreds more hospitalized from eight blasts that targeted churches and hotels. Officials say two of the blasts are suspected to be carried out by suicide bombers. St. Anthony's Shrine and the three hotels where the blast took place are in Colombo and are frequented by foreign tourists. Other blasts were reported at St. Sebastian's Church in Nagambo, a majority Catholic town north of Colombo, and at Zion Church in the eastern town of Batacaloa. Officials say no one has yet claimed responsibility for the blasts. We'll continue to update our story on WYMT.com. And now let's check in with meteorologist uh, Shane Smith this morning. I about said Kelly McShane. I'm so used to her being here. Uh, so Shane, can you tell us a little bit about what it's like outside today? I'm sure uh, folks are excited now that it's Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, it's a little cloudy out there. It's a little dreary, but better weather is heading our way by the afternoon. Here's a look at what's going on right now up on US 119 on top of Pine Mountain. You can see plenty of clouds as we look at the time lapse, but a little peak of sunshine starting to show up there in the last few frames. And Pinpoint Doppler is nice and dry this morning. So we're definitely glad about that. So not expecting any rain today after pretty soggy day yesterday, although we ended up only picking up five one hundredths of an inch of rain here at the station. So uh, it felt like more than that, but just not a ton uh, falling overnight. High pressure building in. That's what's bringing us the drier weather, but also bringing us cooler temperatures this morning. Good morning wise. You're at 37, 43 at London, 45 in Williamsburg. Definitely grab those jackets as you head out to your Sunday morning services for Easter this morning. And we're topping down into the mid 60s this afternoon, especially uh, down in Cumberland Valley, maybe a little bit warmer than what we're showing on the 12 hour planner. However, the warmest weather of the week actually comes in the next couple of days. We'll have a complete breakdown of that seven day forecast here in just a few minutes, Taylor. All right, thank you, Shane. With Easter comes many fun traditions, including, you guessed it, egg hunts and egg drops. Jenny Wiley State Park in the city of Prestonsburg teamed up to host an Easter egg hunt yesterday morning. More than 700 people packed the campgrounds to find around 200 or 20,000 eggs. WMT's Marianne Fletcher talked to many kids about their hunt. Many kids love the Easter holiday for many different reasons. I love Easter because you get to hunt eggs and spend time with your family. Easter egg hunt. To hunt eggs. <laughs> get the prizes. Yeah. Candy. Finding Easter eggs. And my most, fa most, most, most favorite thing about Easter is Jesus. Jenny Wally State Park teamed up with the city of Prestonsburg to do just that for the kids to uh, pick up that the Easter Bunny has brought and dumped out everywhere. Park naturalist Trinity Shepherd says around 700 people packed the campgrounds for a hopping good time. So it's been a huge success for us, probably one of our largest crowds. Kids 12 years old and younger searched the ground. I got one. But their least favorite part of the event. What do you think was the worst part of today? Rain. Rain. However, the rainy weather did not stop these kids from having an exciting day. Yeah, I like playing in mud puddles. With around 20,000 eggs, kids left with their baskets full. Lots of them. About an estimate of 15 or 16. I think I found 126. And their hearts satisfied. Happy Easter! Happy, Happy Easter. Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! In Floyd County, Marianne Fletcher, WYMT Mountain News. Those kids are just too precious. Today, Jenny Wiley State Park is hosting an all-you-can-eat buffet inside the Music Highway Grill at the May Lodge. And Kentucky State Police say a death investigation is underway after a body was found on the Paintsville Golf Course. Police say the body of a man was found just after 6 yesterday evening. The person was not identified and we do not know the cause of death at this time. And in Clay County, deputies say they found two of three stolen vehicles 
and one of them had been set on fire. Deputies say the story behind the car starts on Monday when they got a call about the stolen vehicles. A day later, they found one of the stolen pickups, and then on Friday, they found the stolen blue Toyota Tacoma burnt and on a trail in Buzzard. Anyone with information about the thefts is asked to call the Clay County Sheriff's Office. And a casino operator is suing a tech company after a contract dispute shuttered its sports betting platform at two West Virginia casinos during the height of the NCAA tournament. Friday, a news release stated Delaware North filed a civil suit against Miami Gaming. The suit is over a contract dispute. The casino operator's lawsuit says Miami misrepresented its ownership of a key part of the sports betting platform. And a horse died at Keeneland following a race on Friday afternoon. Officials say a Mandine was injured during the race and later euthanized. This is the third horse death during Keeneland's 2019 spring meet. Keeneland officials say they're reviewing the deaths. And this year's flu season is a record breaker. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported Friday this flu season is the longest in a decade. The CDC says there have been 21 weeks of elevated flu activity reported in the U.S. That's one week longer than the previous 10-year high, which happened during the 2014-2015 season and lasted 20 weeks. Based on rates of illness and hospitalizations, the CDC says this season is considered to be moderately severe. Friday's report showed that flu activity is now declining. And we're learning more about a tiger attack at a zoo in Topeka, Kansas. The animal tackled a female keeper who's worked with the tiger for several years. She will survive. Here's Chris Martinez with how it happened. Attacked by a tiger. Any park units available? The Topeka Zoo had just opened when the 911 call came in. We're at the zoo, 635 South of Cage. We have staff getting attacked by a tiger. 10-4. The woman and Sanjeev, the seven-year-old Sumatran tiger, were in the tiger habitat together when the attack occurred. As soon as Sanjeev recognized that, uh, he essentially tackled our keeper. The incident lasted nearly 10 minutes until other workers were able to lure the cat back into an enclosed area. First responders then rushed the victim to the hospital. Zoo director Brendan Wiley described the injuries. Lacerations and punctures uh, to the back of the head, neck. She's stable, but that's about all that we know. The director says the victim was the primary tiger keeper and had worked with this tiger for several years. It's a normal part of the daily process for her to enter that space, to clean it, to maintain it, to put out enrichment items. Uh, all of that is normal. The one point that was not normal was that Sanjeev also found access to that space at the same time. The zoo plans to review the incident, but says this is the first attack of its kind, and there are no plans to euthanize the animal. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. Coming up on Mountain News this morning, we have highlights of a tasty peep show coming up. And temperatures are set to climb back into the low to mid 60s across the mountains today. But even warmer weather is on the way. A look at when those highs will, uh, will climb into the 80s right after the break. You may not need an attorney.